Hello Toyota fans, Nelson Gaspar here for Nelson Gaspar Drives. Hey, am I standing behind the most underrated Toyota? Watch this video and find out. Look, I get it. You know, the Corolla is, after all, historically the number one selling automotive nameplate in all of history. We sell a lot of these cars. In Canada, it's actually the number two selling uh, Toyota that we sell right after the RAV4. So it's understandable why I was saying earlier that this car is underrated and maybe overlooked a little bit. So I'm going to give you three reasons why I think the uh, Corolla IM should be on your radar and why it is an underrated Toyota. Reason number one, it has fantastic styling. The Corolla IM is actually a European Toyota that we bring from overseas. It's known in Japan and in Europe as the Toyota Aris hatchback. So it's got a very angular styling, very sporty stance, nice wide shoulders. It's got like short front and rear overhangs. It has some really nice styling. This is a really good looking hatchback, dare I say, hot hatch. Now the European themed it continues on the interior of this hatchback. It's got a very stylish interior, leather wrapped steering wheel which is standard on this car that the regular Corolla doesn't come with. Uh, it has these sport bucket seats with the nice contrast white stitching. Again, that the standard uh, Corolla LE, for example, doesn't feature. It's just a really smart layout on the interior. Very sportish, very sty stylish, and really quiet. Reason number two, it's got greater versatility. Everybody knows that a hatchback is definitely more versatile, especially for carrying larger items. When you have the rear seats up in the Corolla IM, you have 588 liters of cargo space behind those rear seats, which is roughly enough size to fit four carry-on luggages, one beside the other standing up. Now, if you lower these seats, you're gonna effectively double that cargo capacity to 1,189 liters of cargo capacity, which means you can hold 15 of those carry-on luggages or a guy like me. Now, where it all comes together is the third reason. Better, sportier handling and better drive. It has a way sportier drive than the conventional Corolla. So if you're looking for that more engaging, uh, better handling uh, kind of little compact uh, hatchback, this delivers. This car has a double wishbone rear suspension. Just plants the car more firmly on the ground, gives it better handling, gives it better riding dynamics, makes it more stable. And if you don't believe me, just drive the regular Coral that has just a, a torsion beam, which works pretty good for everyday driving, and then drive this one back to back, and you tell me the difference. It's a lot of fun. Well, that about wraps it up for now. Thanks for watching this video on why I think you should have a second closer look at the Corolla IM. You know, it's gonna really come down to you. If you, are, if you prefer something a little sportier looking and handling, don't just pass by and look at the Corolla. There's a lot of value here in this vehicle. Now, another bonus reason, uh, I know I mentioned I said there would be three, but there's actually four. The fourth reason is that this car has tremendous value. Uh, typically, it is a little bit more expensive than uh, if you were looking at, say, a Corolla LE. However, with current incentives, the payments, whether you're looking at a cash purchase, financing or leasing, are almost the same as if you're buying a, um, a regular LE Corolla. Now, don't just take my word for it. Like I always say, come on down, reach me at the information that you see here below on the screen. Contact me for a test drive and let's experience it together. And I'm sure that you'll find that this Corolla IM would be a great, great purchase for you. Thanks for watching. This is Nelson Gaspar and I approve of this message.